between the lines. Three, two, one, go! And as the sandstorm approaches, we have two blue lines robots moving, two red lines robots moving. We do have some movement on the Red Alliance from. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven. that's Walnut Valley Robotics, but they are moving after the end of the sandstorm. Looks like they're gonna try and get a half panel on the Red Alliance rocket. All the while, the Scorps, with an innovative platform on their robot, Looks like it might have deployed a little early. The coconuts, coconuts, look like they're having some connectivity issues with their robot. Like, a, I see someone trying to wave over the FTA, trying to figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, their alliance partners, the Tide Gears, have a hatch panel. Oh, the coconuts are back. They're going to quickly try and score that piece of cargo, and they do. Well, the Tide Gears, their alliance partner on the Blue Alliance, get a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship. Looks like the Vitruvian box on the Blue Alliance might have stalled out themselves. We are seeing flashing lights above the driver's station, so there's some connectivity issue. Their alliance partner, Walnut Valley Robotics, are able to successfully place a patch panel on that Red Alliance robot. Oh, and that loud thud was from the Scorps lowering their hand. Walnut Valley Robotics going up high, trying to get a hatch panel on the top level of the rocket. Coconuts driving around. Looks like QHHS Robotics might have stalled out themselves. Oh, and Vitruvian bots are back. That sound means there's less than 20 seconds left. Coconuts going for a half three climb. Doesn't look like we have any robots on the Red Alliance that are gonna try and climb either. Four seconds left. Will the coconuts have enough time? They're working on it. Oh, the time expires. Time runs out as they were starting to lift up. We're gonna have to wait for the scores. Blue Alliance. 46 to 44, a close match with no penalties.